Hi, student. Thank you again for joining us this afternoon or evening. Okay, so now we are going to learn um, question two and we are going to practice and practice again as the saying go, practice makes perfect. So, we read the question, identify the problem, X, forming hypothesis, Y, and observation, and Z. So before we continue, I would recommend you pause this video, try to search in the textbook because this will be a very straightforward answer. So state the stages X, Y, and Z. So X, if you find from the textbook, what is the answer? The answer will be identifying the variable. Variable. Okay? Nothing much to explain, straightforward from the textbook. And why? After forming hypothesis, what we must do? Straightforward from the textbook, it will be carrying out the experiment. And then lastly, after observation, what we will do? We will be analyzing and interpreting the data okay so i think if this question is easy it's easy and yet important so if you know means you know if you don't know means you don't know okay so why must the eye be exactly perpendicular to the reading taken okay per perpendicular to reading taken okay so perpendicular means 90 degree 90 degree above like the money schools so why is to avoid reading error okay you cannot you must see properly okay so i will say to avoid or we can say parallax error parallax error it's same like a reading error okay because we have few errors sometimes it will be the reading error sometimes due to the measurement problem issue as well so give two positive scientific attitude for in scientific investigation so it, will, it can be anything you should be patient you should be kind you should be honest um, you should be hard working whatever that you think is related to the experiment and it's in the textbook also so thank you very much so i'll be teaching until here thank you bye bye